Hi, I'm Katrina Hawking and I work for the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter. Hi, I'm Robert Hawking and welcome to our late July, early August fourth wine tasting. So Robert and I started doing these virtual wine tastings back in April when a wine tasting fundraiser that we wanted to attend had to be postponed for the pandemic. We're having fun doing them and we hope you enjoy watching them as well. So uh, today for our wine tasting we're going to do summer grilling wines um, and for summer grilling uh, you, can you can use whites but we're going to actually start out today with a rosé. Oh I love a rosé. Well so um, when we started doing these things Katrina told me that at some point I should do a thing with a rosé in it. Now I'm not really a... Actually um, I think I said you should do a wine tasting with only rosé yeah, in it. Yeah. And I'm not really a rosé sort of person so I'm actually going to make Katrina taste this one first. This one is a Sodo Cellars uh, 2019 Lovebirds uh, Columbia Valley and it's from 77% Sangiovese and 23% Syrah. It's a beautiful colour. Oh that's gorgeous. It's not as pink as in the glass as it is in the bottle. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. I could drink the whole bottle. <laughs> I think it has a lot of kind of summer fruit, um, some apple mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, it's got some acidity. So I think it'll go well with um, uh, uh, seafood, light meats, uh, light girls, vegetables. Girls' night out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and actually speaking of which, um, do you want a bit of um, uh, shrimp that I can grill them? Oh, you, that looks wonderful. So Robert's been grilling um, and I'm going to try and eat one of these shrimp on camera now and I'll tell you how it goes, yeah. goes with the rosé. Mm. So um, uh, th this summer, actually, I've ended up eating, uh, drinking uh, more rosé than normal. I don't know whether it's the um, current situation, but um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were off camping and we had uh, hot dogs grilled over a campfire and with some rosé, and that worked out well. So it's a um, it's a nice opportunity if if it's uh, hot. Yeah, to have any of you wanting something that's a little bit more body than a, a, a white wine. Though we've had um, uh, rosés recently that have varied quite considerably in um, how, uh, how much body they have. What do you think about this one? Um, yeah, it's sort kind of, of medium. Medium body kind of. for rosé and um, it's got, um, as I said, the acidity. It yeah. holds up really nicely to the shrimp. Um, I think prawns, any seafood. Yeah. So after our last wine tasting, a friend contacted me and said that he was having difficulty explaining ALS to his son. Simply put, ALS is a progressive disease that attacks the neurons that control a person's muscles. A person with ALS loses the ability to move, speak, swallow, and eventually breathe. The Evergreen ALS Association provides care and equipment that help people live as fully as possible while fighting ALS. And you can help by making a donation now or by attending one of our upcoming events. So our next event is the Silver Lining Gala on August 15th. This is a completely virtual event to keep people safe during the pandemic. And the silver lining is that anyone can attend from anywhere they happen to be. The registration is open now and I'll link the registration information in the video. Uh, so our second wine is a red. It is uh, Gilbert Sellers Aloe Broge. Uh, Yakima Valley. It's uh, 37, uh, 2018, 30% Syrah, 36% Grenache, 27% Mouverdra. I 
Thank you. Got a um, uh, lively nose. I went straight to drinking it. Um, it's uh, quite fruity. It uh, has a, um, uh, a pleasant sort of sweet um, aftertaste. Uh, so for summer grilling, I kind of think you you want wine that you can have that will stand up to the uh, to the food that you're cooking, um, but also, you know, it, it's, uh, you want it something you, for summer, you tend to spend a lot of time outside, standing around talking while um, uh, the food is cooked. And so that's what um, summer grilling wine should be. You know, something that's uh, fairly immediate and um, then lets you get back to your conversation. Um, may not be the time for um, the one, the the broody wines to ponder on. <laughs> I don't like broody wines to ponder on. <laughs> this is a lot of fun and it would be, it's fun to drink out of doors. Um, and yeah. a good barbecue wine. Yeah, so I'm going to try doing a um, portobello mushroom to go to go with this. Um, see if I can get that in uh, in shot a little bit later. Okay, that sounds great. So um, here's that uh, portobello mushroom. I was said I was going to try grilling and see how what it, how it ends up tasting with the, this wine. I'm looking forward to this. It looks like a delicious mushroom. So Robert and I are going to be offering a basket for the silent auction and I'll be talking about that in just a little minute, but I'm going to try a bite of this mushroom. Hmm, works well with the, the wine. Um, as I was saying about you know, wine for summer grilling, um, th this, is a, this one has a Syrah in it, lots of uh, Washington blends, a fair number of the Washington blends that have Syrah work quite well as um, uh, summer grilling wines. Um, other things to consider, pretty much the entirety of Australian wine is designed for um, the, the barbie. Um, Argentinian um, Malbec and we coming up, our third wine will be America's entry to uh, uh, unique contribution to um, grilling wines. This mushroom is so delicious. <laughs> I would really recommend it. Do you put anything on the mushroom? Uh, olive oil and a bit of uh, garlic powder. Oh, the garlic powder, just a tiny bit. I wouldn't have guessed garlic powder mm -hmm. is really subtle. And it is, it really does bring out a lot of uh, interesting flavors in the wine with, mm -hmm. with the mushroom. So Robert and I are going to be offering a wine basket as an auction item for the upcoming Silver Lining Gala, and I have the wines here. Robert will just talk about them. So, um, they, it's a collection of um, uh, Bordeaux blends. And if you and if you bid on this item, we will deliver the wine to you if you live within the state of Washington, and and you'll be able to taste the wines with us while we're doing one of our upcoming wine tasting, virtual wine tastings, either the September or the October, depending on the timing of the delivery. So it'll be a great item. Yeah, and so the the wines are uh, Spring Valley Uriah 2014. Um, uh, Mark Ryan Water Witch. Um, check the year uh, that I ended up with that, 2016. And we have a, um, being doing a Bordeaux tasting, we're going to have one from Bordeaux, uh, Alassis Ducasse, um, 2011. And we're also throwing in a mystery bottle of wine that was featured in one of our previous uh, tastings. Who knows what it is? <laughs> Okay, so uh, now time for our final wine. So as I said, um, we're doing um, America's uh, barbecue wine, which is um, Zinfandel. So we have um, Sergesio uh, Snohoma Zinfandel, Snohoma County, 2016. I love the Zinfandel. This is kind of an uncommon one for us, though. We don't drink a lot of Zinfandel usually, but it is beautiful barbecuing wine. So, 
uh, Zinfandel uh, tends to be often is done quite fruity, um, sometimes with a bit too much of an attack on the fr on the, uh, the beginning from my taste. But let's see how this one is. Mm, it's got a um, uh, quite a round, fruity no nose. I think it's quite smooth. It is, yeah. It's very smooth for its Zinfandel, very. Yeah, but with enough with enough fruit that actually it's gonna, it, it works for the. Um, uh, for the mm, grilling. Um, a few weeks ago, I had a um, another Zinfandel that I really liked, but it was I was kind of surprised because it was a little bit more austere. Um, it was by um, Paul Charles, and uh, it was a slight. It was a little bit more acidity, a bit more austere. It was a. It was something for uh, Zinfandel for taking seriously. Unfortunately, they seem to be sold out of them. So, but anyhow, I, but I really like this. Yes. Yeah, it is. It's not austere. I think it's a fun Zinfandel. Um, it has a wonderful, wonderful aftertaste. I think I might actually like this better than the rosé, <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do do some uh, grilling in uh, just a minute and see if I can try doing something that will um, go with the taste here. And I'm going to finish up this sand. Mm. So while Robert is setting up the grill, I would like to thank you for joining us for this virtual wine tasting and invite you again to join us at the Silver Lining Gala on August 15th. We're having some really interesting speakers. Nancy Frades, the mother of Pete Frades, who recently passed away. Pete Frades was the founder of the Ice Bucket Challenge and Nancy Frades is an inspirational speaker. We have information about the chapter as well as both a live and silent auction. The silent auction opens on August 10th and there's really something in that auction for everyone from an Apple Watch to a glided fly fishing trip to the wine basket that Robert and I were showing you earlier. There's really something for everybody's interest and the money raised helps patients locally with both care and equipment as well as providing research money to find a cure for ALS. So join us on August 15th. You can register at silverlining.alsa-ec.org and I'll link the registration information in the video. Again, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter. What are you doing, Robert? Okay, so I'm trying to do some um, sliders here with some uh, with blue cheese on them. Ooh, delicious! Um, the blue cheese is from it's uh, Whatcom Blue from Twin Sisters uh, Creamery, um, and. I got some Macrina um, slider buns. Uh, I think they're brioche buns, and I, the uh, sliders are actually meat from uh, Horseshoe Bend Ranch. So. All oh, right, my friend Matt Childs owns Horseshoe Bend Ranch, and we've got some of his grass-fed beef in our freezer. So uh, let's see if uh, just wet that. Let that. In. Um, cheese melt, and I think they we should be uh, good to go. While we're waiting for the blue cheese to melt, why don't you tell me how you prepared these burgers, Robert? Uh, so the burgers are um, uh, they've been doing in the sous vide for the past um, twenty minutes. Uh, no, actually, a little bit longer um, to get them. Uh, to do the basic cook and then the grill is just um, providing the um, uh, the crisping on the outside but I also need to get the uh, this uh, cheese a little bit melted okay I think that'll so, oh, I was going to toast the buns but never mind Yeah, and that goes with. Yeah, do you want? 
Yeah, this looks delicious. Thank you for watching. It's been fun. I uh, hope you have a um, uh, good summer, um, that you managed to do some uh, grilling uh, on your back deck, in your yard, in a park if it's uh, okay in your um, uh, vicinity, with friends if you can be socially distant and it's allowed. But how, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter, and we'll see you at the Silver Lining Gala. Have fun with your summer grilling. We seem to be on the flight path. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have another little <laughs> rosé while I'm waiting. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers.